Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. 2017 is off to a record-breaking year for economic development activity in the state. That according to the Indiana Economic Development Corporation, which is just out with its mid-year performance report. One standout number, so far this year, companies have committed to investing more than $5.4 billion, more than double uh, the first half of 2016. For more on the results and prospects for the remainder of the year, pleased to be joined as always by Indiana Secretary of Commerce, Jim Schell. Ellinger and Jim, welcome to the program. Always a pleasure. Uh, these numbers, and we'll get to those in a moment, but uh, a big impact on there is a big announcement you made late in the week with Midwest Fertilizer in Posey County, Mount Vernon, big nitrogen fertilizer plant that was really first announced in, I think, 2012, 2013. Mm -hmm. it, it now is happening, big investment. It is, and it's a big, big deal for Southwest Indiana, for Posey County, and this was first tabled in 2013, and then Governor Pence, he wanted to explore in greater detail. There was some question about its origin country. Um, there was some question about whether that fertilizer had been used uh, in the ammonia for warfare. And so the deep dive was take, was done by the Federal Defense Department as well as the state and it's been approved. Yeah, uh, construction to begin uh, operations uh, in 2018 there. Uh, the jobs number is about 185. The investment number has increased to nearly $3 billion uh, in southern Indiana. Uh, let's talk about the numbers for the first half of 2017. They're, they're um, impressive numbers, especially as you look at the capital investment, again, $5.4 billion. Uh, it's been remarkable, and I was in a cabinet meeting earlier this morning with Governor uh, Holcomb, and I mentioned to the entire cabinet, it's the product of everything we've done in this state over the last 12 years, and the governor's laser focus on next level Indiana. But 164 projects, 17,823 new jobs for our state, and Gary, one of the most things we're most proud of is we're at 2850 on our average wage, which is 33% higher than the current state average wage of 2150. And, and again, that's been a challenge. It's always it has yes. been for years. That's uh, right. But that, uh, it, you know, a couple of bucks uh, higher than the average hourly wage for projects a year ago. So yes. on, the, on, on the rise. Yeah. Let's talk about industries and what's really driving these numbers. Two sectors in particular, manufacturing and, and technology. Look at manufacturing. Toyota among the big deals now. Yeah, Toyota Motor uh, Company down in Columbus, Indiana, the TIM who produces fork trucks worldwide. They have just been on a roll lately. Of course, Toyota down in Princeton expanded $400 uh, million dollar investment uh, with uh, 600, or 600 million dollar investment, 400 yeah. jobs. Uh, they have been on, definitely on a roll, but I think all of our industry has been on a roll, and I think that it's not uh, it's not necessarily separated from information technology. With the inf Internet of Things, they're one and right. the same today. Right, and you mentioned technology. Infosys, the big Indian company, uh, looking to invest uh, and, and investing a big time in Indiana and around the country. Uh, technology continues to be on a roll for the state. Yeah, we have several in the pipeline. It, it's uh, one of those things where the ecosystem system is there. Uh, Michael Angelier at TechPoint has done an outstanding job of, of helping us along with some of our entrepreneurs like Scott Dorsey and others that have really, really created an ecosystem here in central Indiana and throughout our state. And so we're seeing, a, you know, it just builds mm -hmm. when one comes, you know, it's almost like you got a Walgreens and a yeah. CVS on every corner. You know, you say, well, why are they doing, but that's how it works. And so this, this ecosystem that's growing from the tech companies has really been fascinating. Let's talk about challenges. One challenge that I see is rural economic development is, is, is what, what can happen, what, what needs to happen in rural Indiana. As you look at rural economic development, how, what can you talk about? We were pretty hard on that. We had uh, 25 projects that were accepted in the month of June in 14 or 15, it was in 14 or 15 different counties. So we see that happening, but uh, we, you know, we are, 83% of our land is undeveloped as forestry or farm, and the agribusiness uh, is really a $31 billion industry, employs 100,000 people in our, our state. Probably one of the most important things we need for rural Indiana right now is statewide broadband and, and we get that and that's going to help rural Indiana a great deal but they're not population centers basically but if we can continue on with regional cities and spread the regions out for cool places to live work and play and recruit and retain talent the jobs will come where the talent is. I got to ask you one uh, question of something you and others have been working on and that's an international non-stop flight from Indianapolis to an international uh, destination. Progress being made? Uh, yeah again the governor gets all the credit for this along with the General Assembly for the vision that a, a transatlantic flights economic yeah. development. This isn't vacation, it's economic development. So we've had discussions about a direct flight to London. We had those a couple weeks ago in London. Uh, just uh, last week we had some with a direct flight to Amsterdam and I think we're making great progress on it based on the five million dollars that's been allocated the next two years yep. in the BAM and I think that within months we'll have something to talk about. Okay, we'll follow up on that. Jim Schellinger, Indi Indiana Secretary of Commerce. Some big numbers uh, at the IEDC. Thanks for joining us as always. Thank you.
Well, thanks for watching Inside Indiana Business on YouTube. For the latest statewide business news, be sure to visit InsideIndianaBusiness.com and subscribe to our free daily e-newsletters by clicking on the link.